Welcome back everyone, Conius here. Today I'm flying from Austin to San Antonio, Texas. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. Our flight level is 3,000 feet. And let's get started. Parking brake off. I've adjusted my pedal sensitivity, it feels like it's a little easier to control this plane. It's a little twitchy before. So it should be about, I don't know, 1 p.m. or so local time here in Austin. Alright, so landing gear up, flaps up. Let's turn into our heading here. I set the autopilot already for navigation. I'm hearing a lot of wind noises. I don't feel any wind in the way the plane is acting. Okay, I'm leveling off because we've reached our H3 altitude. Is type Beechcraft King Air Tree miles west of zero two X Ray Sierra. I'm going to go ahead Request and set flight following. altitude hold mode. Turn on autopilot. Turn on the yaw damper. Squawk five zero one five. Squawk five zero one five. Can I turn on navigation as well? Okay, so the autopilot should be Copy steering us to close that gap in the heading line in the compass. And then the plane should turn towards the San Antonio direction. I didn't have nav on. I thought I did. So now it's going to steer. Alright, that was a nice smooth turn. So let's go outside and take a look. I'm going to grab my 360 controller, or Xbox One controller. So a semi-cloudy day here. But otherwise the weather's really nice. I spent some time earlier fine-tuning my graphic settings to try to optimize frame rate and quality of the graphics. I'm achieving somewhere between 30 and 40 frames per second, which I'm happy with. I really didn't want the quality to suffer. I didn't want it to stop looking photorealistic. But when you get the frame rate higher, you're losing a lot of detail in the process. This is with the RTX 2080 Ti, so previous generation NVIDIA graphics card. But it does a good job here at 4K. I'm very happy with it. All 
Alright, so this is the often area, I guess. Flying through. I've never actually been to Austin, but I have been to San Antonio. There's a big open space. I remember at night, every direction around 360 degrees, you could see lightning flashes somewhere off in the distance. I forget what time of year that was, but I was somewhere, somewhere in Texas. Yeah, I love these views. There really wasn't much to look at in Arizona and New Mexico. I guess that's to be expected, but now that we're in Texas, I'm starting to see a lot more civilization. So that's nice. I have some things like volumetric clouds turned down a notch from ultra, I think, down to high. That's probably good enough. I think um, reflections and shadows and things are a little bit more important. All right, so let's play with the drone. And there goes the plane. So I just kind of want to look around and see what's over here. We can actually turn on follow mode again. At least we're staying within the vicinity of the plane. We don't get too far behind. And we can still look around, but the, we don't have to hear the engine. And I want to check back periodically, make sure the airspeed's okay, altitude's okay. All right. Good. The drone moves at something like twice the speed of the plane, so it's very easy to maneuver. You can maneuver actually past it, get ahead of it, look back. Still hearing a lot of wind, uh, kind of banging wind noises. All right, something coming up over here. All right, I guess businesses and homes and things. <laughs> Not sure what part of Texas this is, somewhere between Austin and San Antonio. All right, let's go back and check with the plane. Go back inside and make sure that these dials are okay, which they are. How far are we getting? We're getting One, two, four, decimal, pretty four, close. For KH337. We're not that high, so I don't need to worry about descending San Antonio right approach now. KH337, 3, 3, 7, 3, a little closer, then we'll drop to 2,000, maybe. KH337, San Antonio approach. Continue as planned. Altimeter, 290, decimal 903. Mm, must be some big shopping center or something. All right, well, enough with the drone. Oh, that could make you dizzy watching that.
still seeing a lot of that default ground texture I saw throughout Arizona and New Mexico. It's kind of ugly. Uh, that kind of light green stuff, stubbly light green stuff, just it's all over the place. Not very attractive. Hope the USA update does something about that. That's an interesting looking body of water over there. I have tempted to explore it, but we can see it okay from here. Some big lake in Texas, I guess. The autopilot is kind of a bumpy ride right now. Usually it's a very stable ride, but you see how unstable this is at the moment. Might be kind of a tricky landing. Okay, so I am going to take over from autopilot. Uh, hello? Can't seem to click that. There we go. Still off? Okay, yep. Alright. So I wanted to go to the default view and then pop up just a little bit so I could see my instruments a little bit. Don't really want to gain altitude. So I guess we should nose down a bit here. And pull back on the throttle a little bit. Just below the halfway point on the throttle. Going to 125 decimal 7KH337. San Antonio approach KH337, 3,000 feet. KH337, San Antonio approach. Continue as planned. Altimeter, 2,900 decimal. Okay, try not to gain too much speed while I drop altitude a bit here. So I've got the throttle pretty far down. Let's bring it down a bit more. I want to get to about, I don't know, 2,000 or so for the landing pattern. Bat cave field, okay. That's interesting. I'm sure they mean the animals and not Batman. Okay, so we seem to be doing well here. Uh, a little slower than before, that's fine. We need to slow down to get ready for landing anyway. So I'm going to drop throttle even more. Copilot will soon contact the tower on our behalf. Safety's sake, I'm gonna put down the land. San Antonio there. Tower KH337 is one one miles northeast with echo to land. KH337 San Antonio Tower. Make straight in runway two two. I might actually have to climb. 
I forgot to account for the fact that the land itself is going to be somewhat off the ground, so 2,000 is not a good altitude. But that's fine, we can use that to burn off some speed. We're not too far off. Once I get to altitude, I'll put the flaps down. Okay, I think we're actually okay. It looks like a straight in approach, so let's go ahead and put the flaps down halfway. Push forward hard to keep us from nosing up too much and while we slow down. I'm going to dethrottle a bit. Actually, we've got it way down. Give me some excess speed to burn off. We were a little bit more successful gaining back some altitude than I thought, so I'm going to burn some of this off. Clear to land runway 22 KH337. Flaps down all the way. Push hard forward on the stick. <sighs> it really wants to nose up. All right, so now we're at a much more acceptable speed for landing. Going to one two one decimal nine or generic eight kilo Charlie. Still feel a little high altitude wise here, so let's take care of that. Alright, well so far this feels pretty comfortable. Uh, I need to see the instruments a little better because I don't remember exactly where the bottom range is. Okay, we're getting kind of close to the bottom range. I'm going to throttle up just a bit. We've lost some potential energy and I don't want to land too early. Be nice to land on the runway if possible. Already got the landing gear down. still need to get better at making smaller adjustments because the adjustments I'm used to making when you get this close to the ground it creates a lot of error, a lot of oscillating, a lot of getting off course from the runway. Looks like we're here though, so let's go ahead and try to just hover over for a bit. bounce. That's all right. That should not have been injurious to the plane. And we're coming it off maybe right here. Going a little fast to turn that much. KH337 contact ground on 121 decimal niner. Up. 121 decimal niner for KH337. Okay, this is back onto our runway, I think, so we don't want to go that way. Where do I want to go? Alright, I'll go back this way. Seems to be a taxiway here. Alright, stop, put the parking brake on. 
contact ground services. San Antonio ground KH337 request taxi to parking. Oh, well, thank you. Usually I have to do that. KH337 taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Foxtrot cross runway 31 right, cross runway 31 left, Delta Golf Alpha cross runway 4. Oh my god, we're going to be crossing runway after runway. That's okay. Taxiing to general aviation parking via taxiway Foxtrot cross runway 31 right, cross runway 31 left, Delta Golf Alpha cross runway 4 KH337. Alright, so that landing felt a little less crazy than my recent landings, but not by much. Uh, I can see why it takes a lot of hours of practice. Um, it's just very hard to keep it stable when you get, you know, 100 feet off the ground and whatnot. So I think I'm cleared to go. I should look around to make sure. Okay, so this is probably the default San Antonio airport. I think there might actually be a uh, upgrade available for sale, but I elected not to buy it. All right, let's see. Let's try looking from inside. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, there and there. All right, we're good. Still getting the hang of the brakes rudder together, using those together. Yeah, this time we're keeping a decent taxi speed the whole time. I've had trouble in the past just going too fast all the time if we've stalled, so I need to give it some thrust. Engines are very sensitive, apparently. I'm constantly complaining about internal temperature over torque and etc. Okay, now we're going too fast. It's twice over the speed limit. Okay, rudder and then right brake. Make a nice pivot. Ooh, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Still, that's just too fast. Too much thrust going, I think, still. Alright, well, this will work, I guess. should have looked. <laughs> Again, way too fast. Gotta get better at that too. That's really have to pay attention to your speed. Doesn't have the characteristics of driving a car. It has the characteristics of a runaway volleyball.
Alright, so taxi there we go. Short runway. Two, two using taxi way out for generic Thank you. Oh, hit him? Okay, good. I did not hit him. Let's turn the park brake on. Shut the engines down. Alright, turn off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please forget or <laughs> please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.